Lemon Bear. Let's see what's happened to Judy and Jimmy and their friends, the Cinnamon Bear and the Crazy Quilt Dragon. After they got Patio Cinnamon out of the wishing well, they tried to get out of the wishing woods, but they were stopped by a great river of mud and attacked by muddlers, huge, ugly creatures made entirely of mud. In spite of everything our friends could do, the muddlers shoved them into the black, oozy mud. They climbed frantically onto Crazy Quilt's back, and he tried to swim, but couldn't. And right now, they're sinking deeper and deeper and deeper. No. Oh, agony. Mud to the left of us, mud to the right of us. Oh, I'm afraid it's all over with us. Gee, if we weren't on Crazy Quilt's back, the mud would be way over our heads. Try a little mudding through to the other side, Crazy Quilt. If we stay here much longer, we're sunk. Uh, oh. Please, Crazy Quilt, try again, please. <laughs> oh, it's no use. Every time I move a leg, I sink in deeper. Jimmy, hold the handkerchief with the silver star pieces high over your head. All right, Judy, but I don't see what good it'll do oh, now. Can't hold on much longer. I'm going... <laughs> going. Oh. We're sunk. We're sunk. Wait, wait. Somebody's coming. Can you see who it is, Jimmy? I got mud in me eyes. Why, it looks like cowboys. Hooray, we're saved. Yo-ho, cowboys. Over this way, over here. We're a coming. All right, boys, throw them some ropes. I'll take the children, you lasso the bear, Lefty. And Hank, you and Gus better snag that dragon or whatever it is. Here you got them, boys? Okay, hang on tight, strangers. Here you go. Oh, boy, oh, boy, am I glad to be out of that mess. How's that dragon critter coming along? Right now. Uh, Words. Words cannot begin to express my gratitude. Well, you cowboys just got here in the nick of time, all right. Just like in the movies. We don't know our noble rescuers' names, but... Well, Slim's my name, partner. Slim Pickens. Oh, Mr. Slim Pickens, I thank you in behalf of our little party. I shall speak to the proper authorities about a medal. Oh, yes, indeed. And I shall... Uh, Oh, tragedy, look at me. I'm smeared with mud from my crazy quilt head to my crazy quilt tail. Me too. My beautiful fur is ruined. Well, don't worry, strangers. Won't be a minute before that's gone. What do you mean? Oh, my goodness. All that mud's dropped right off. Gee, the crazy quill dragon looks like he'd just been dry clean. Why, for pity's sakes, what's this? It's magic. That's what it is. <laughs> That's right, partner. As soon as you step on this side, the mud just vamooses. Oh, my goodness. Such a relief. Why, look, everybody. How beautiful it is here. All purple. It didn't look like there was anything like this when we were over on the other side. Yes, miss. This here's the purple plain. 
You can't see it from t'other side the mud pond, because those muddler varmints don't like pretty colors at all, and they just naturally likes to hide it from everybody. Why, well, those pesky mavericks are the orneriest bunch of creation. Uh, I guess they had it in for your dragon pardon here in the county such a fancy-dressed hombre. Look, Judy, they're all riding big black beetles instead of horses. Say, are you regular cowboy slim? <laughs> well, Sonny, I reckon we are. <laughs> a little bit different, but still cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Lefty. <laughs> oh, hi, glowworm Gus. Yo. Start up a song. Let them know who we are, huh? Hey, Come on, hey, sing. Hey, 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 hey. Melissa, do you know Melissa? Well, we sure do, don't we, boys? <laughs> Who's the prettiest little boss in this neck of the woods? <laughs> Melissa! I heartily concur with your opinion regarding our beloved ruler. What does he mean, Patio Cinnamon? He mean he thinks so, too. Well, we sure would like to see Melissa again. Well, what's your trouble, little miss? We went to see her about getting our beautiful silver star fixed. And she told us what to do. To wish it back together again at a wishing well. But our fuzzy friend here unfortunately spoiled our plans by falling into the wishing well, so they had to use up the wish to get him out. And if we could see Melissa again, we thought maybe she'd tell us something else to do. Yes, we just got to get our silver star fixed. Because it belongs on top of our Christmas tree. And it just won't be Christmas without it. Well, no, I'm sure sorry to hear about all the trouble you folks has had. But maybe you won't have to go all the way back to see Melissa. What do you mean, my friend? Well, now, I'll just show you. Hey, Lefty, you got your looking glass with you? Nope, Slim, left it in the bunkhouse. Oh, shucks. No wonder we call you Lefty. Always leaving things behind when they're needed. I've got a little looking glass. You have? Well, that's right nice. Now, if you'll just let me have it a bit, it'll show you a trick. Now, first... I take my hat. <laughs> I bet he's just like that Mr. Presto, the magician. Well, don't know the part of you mentioned, but here's the idea. Now, if you put this looking glass inside my ten-gallon hat, pretty soon you can see Melissa and talk to her. Oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Slim. You better do the talking, Judy. All right. Here's the looking glass, All Mr. All right, Slim. now put it down here in my ten-gallon hat. That's it. Now, you just think real hard that you want to see Melissa. I'm thinking ever so hard. I see her. I see her in the looking glass. 
Oh, Melissa, we've had such a time. She doesn't answer me. Well, you can't hear her say anything, little miss, but she can hear you. Now, you go along and tell her your troubles. All right. Melissa, dear, we did just what you told us and went to the wishing well. But poor Patty O'Cinnamon fell in when he was looking down inside it. And we had to use up the only wish we could have to get him out. So we couldn't wish our star back together again. Would you please tell us what we can do now to get it mended? She's smiling. Hey, she hears you all right, little miss. Oh, she's writing something on a piece of paper. Now she's holding it up for me to see. Underneath the singing tree, another clue you're sure to see. Oh, now she's gone. I wonder what she's talking about. Underneath the singing tree. It's just like a treasure hunt. You go one place to find out another place to go. Well, Melissa knows what she's talking about, so you better do as she says. What is the singing tree? Do you know, Mr. Slim? Well, it seems to me I have. I have you tell about it. It's supposed to be in the Golden Grove. Where's that? Well, that's straight across the Purple Plain. If you look real hard, you can see it glistening over yonder, way over. Huh, I see it, a regular sparkle. So do I, distinctly. Well, we're mighty sorry we can't take you clear across the Purple Plain, but we've got a job to do, you know. I gotta round up them glow worms. Well, well thank you. Sure nice sure right. right. Well, come on, boys. I gotta get moving. That's well, right. well, so long, partners. And I hope you get your star right pronto. All right, boys. Let's ride. My, my. They may be a bit wild and woolish, but I like them. <laughs> Definitely. So do I. I don't know what would have happened to us if they hadn't turned up. Well, come on. We've got a long way to go. Let's get started. Yes, let's not waste any time. I wonder how we'll know the singing tree. Oh, you'll know all right. Melissa wouldn't tell you unless she was sure you'd find out. I suppose you're right. What was that? Jiminy Crickets, look. Over there behind that bunch of purple cactus. Wow, it's an Indian. Run for your lives. The whole tribe will be after us. Faster, faster. How many are there, Jimmy? I don't know. Sounds like a hundred of them. Oh, my cinnamon scalp held. Indians, that's bad, very bad. In maybe land, you never can tell what will happen next, but Indians it is, and next time we'll find out just what will happen to Judy and Jimmy and their friends. <laughs>